Hello, this is Kent Mahaffey with another segment of Research Corner. And today, I'm really excited to be able to talk to Dr. Manisha Desai. She's the director of the Quantitative Sciences Unit in the Department of Medicine. She's an associate professor in biomedical informatics and as courtesy an appointment in uh, HRP as well. Manisha, welcome. Thank you. It's great to have you. One of the things I'm so passionate about that you and I have talked about many times is having the analytic expertise so close to the clinical researchers. And when I came to Stanford, having the QSU as the Department of Medicine was just a phenomenal opportunity, I thought. For people who don't know so much about the QSU, tell us a little bit about your group and what you're doing. So, um, so I founded the Quantitative Sciences Unit in 2009, and so we've been in operation for the past six years. And um, we are a collaborative unit. So. What that means is that, or I should say the philosophy of the QSU is that we become fully integrated into a research team. And so we, um, we basically become co-scientists on, on any given project. And so um, often that means helping to work on clinical papers. It can also lead to methodological papers that QSU members will in turn lead. And so it becomes a real collaborative effort where we're working on both the clinical aspects and the methodological aspects. So we have a team of about um, 13 statistical scientists now, and uh, we work on studies that run the gamut. There are observational studies, experimental studies. Um, we help to design the studies. We help to analyze the studies. Basically all things data related. So we're also, we'll also coordinate um, the data efforts and the housing of the data. So even creating data platforms, running DS data safety monitoring boards. That's right. So it really is a full service opportunity here across the whole spectrum of the data analytics required in a clinical trial. That's right. That, that's terrific, that's terrific. Now you and I are partnering um, together with this in the, the Stanford Center for Clinical Research, the SCCR and the QSU. Describe what that partnership is so there's no confusion out there about sure. what you and I are trying to do here. Yeah, so um, so for studies that go through the SCCR, SCCR will help with the full-on coordination of the uh, and provide infrastructural support. And we, the QSU, will partner by um, taking care of all the data-related coordination and all the data-related um, analytics. Right. And then you have your whole portfolio of projects and research activities that's really separate from the SCCR as that's well. That's right. So, there, so we have some projects that are outside of the, of the SCCR and QSU um, partnership, and then we have some studies that, are, that we are jointly collaborating on. Yeah, I think there's, there's such great opportunity here for the QSU to maintain its own identity and the great growth that you've had in just such a short period of time. It's, it's really a tremendous resource across the whole department. And in fact, now you're working with people outside of the department and even in, outside of the school. That's right. So we're starting to expand beyond medicine. We've um, expanded to the uh, Department of Neurosurgery, to the Heart Center, the Stanford Cancer Institute, and also we um, collaborate with investigators, Stanford investigators at the VA. Um, and hopefully we'll expand even more. What That's a great portfolio you have. And we have a lot of house staff. We have a lot of fellows, junior faculty, now even senior faculty who want to get involved in clinical research. What are some opportunities they could have working with your staff and uh, statisticians and researchers in the QSU? So there's a lot. So one of our big missions in the QSU, um, in addition to sort of analyzing data and, and helping to support people in their research, is to mentor. So there's a big mentoring slash education component to the QSU. So we are happy to, to work with fellows and residents and junior faculty um, who may not have funded projects, but they might want to learn about how to do their own analyses, or they might just want to learn about how to do, be an independent investigator. We have um, multiple huge databases right. that they can access for that purpose. We will help work with them um, to develop proposals, to develop statistical analysis plans. We will help do their analyses, or in some cases, they are interested in doing their own analyses with um, high-level guidance. 
So sort of depending on the needs of the, of the fellow or the junior faculty, we will work with them. We have resources um, for which they can develop a research project. They might come to us with their own research project, and we can help them in that way as well. Yeah, having access to those large databases is particularly appealing to house staff who want to get a research program started and completed during the residency, so they have things on their CV That's for right. fellowship applications and things like that. That's what right. a great resource you have. Thank you. Well, thanks for coming. I really appreciate you. your time today. Thank you for having me. And this is Kent Mahaffey signing off on another segment of Research Corner. Thanks. The preceding program is copyrighted by the Board of Trustees of the Leland Stanford Junior University. Please visit us at med.stanford.edu.